Hiya buds, my name is Ursuline, you can call me Ursa, and today we're here to address the question I keep getting in the comments section, even though I've answered it many, many times. Where is Fazbear's Fright Season 2, uh, also known as Twisted Revival, because it's not technically going to be Fazbear's Fright. Like, it doesn't take place in this building behind me. Um, well, the answer to that is it is in the early production stages. Um, I have the general plan for what I want to do. Um, to be totally honest, nothing has been built yet. I need to get a build team together. Um, there will be a link to that in the description, by the way, if you're interested and if you have experience building. Um, please make sure you read it carefully if you do want to apply. And... I mean, aside from that, yeah, it's in the early stages. I've been focusing mostly on Sunglow because I needed a break from FNAF after three years of updating, you know, weekly. Um, at the time when I started Fazbear's Fright, the first season, I was a full-time college student working a job and doing YouTube on the side as a hobby. Now, I'm working a job uh, and doing YouTube as a hobby, <laughs> no longer a student. Um, but that only makes more time to actually work, so not the, not like I have the most free time. Um, and to be honest, I'm not one of those people that ever really wanted to be a full-time YouTuber, not only because it probably wouldn't be possible for me, I have probably the worst internet out of any YouTuber <laughs> you know. <laughs> it is a miracle that I ever got a series to begin with because it takes me 12 hours to upload a 30 minute video but I've made it work I've made it work and I, my channel is still alive which is surprising to me I didn't think I'd get this far and in the comments all the time where's FNAF season 2 or so are you still doing FNAF season 2 can you tell me about it well yes yes I am still doing it I just, it's kind of hard when you're almost a single person production team. <laughs> like, season one I started with my friends. It was an idea that I had that we could do together and have a lot of fun with and make a fun storyline. Uh, and now, I mean, I still have my friends, but a lot of them aren't um, in the like FNAF YouTube realm anymore. And I get that. There's things that you've got to do. Um, but it's hard to move past that after I got so used to it, you know? Um, so I'm going to need to look at this a different way because, uh, yeah, YouTube still isn't my job. It's just my hobby, but it's a hobby that I want to keep and I want to keep doing it for as long as I can because not only do I enjoy it, like I love talking to you guys and seeing your comments about the things that I create. Uh, but it makes a difference in your lives, too. Like, I've gotten a lot of comments that people are telling me how things that I've made make their day better. And, you know, that's, that's really cool. Like, I'm the, I'm a part of someone's life just through the different things that I've had fun making with my friends. Um, and that's a really cool responsibility. Um, but I guess the biggest... Thing that I want to address is, yes, Fazbear's Fright Season 2, or, well, it will be called Twisted Revival because um, it's not technically, again, it's not technically in this building, it's not in Fazbear's Fright. It's, it'll be the same, like, you know, cast, kind of, in a weird way. It's continuing the story. It might not be what you guys expect, but it's still going to be fun. Uh, it's still going to hold to the same kind of grody... Um, grimy FNAF, you know, things are actually going to be scary. I'm still going to animate jump scares, uh, but I'm going to try to make it a little unique too, because I know I'm not the only creator who wants to make stories inside of, you know, FNAF. It's a huge franchise. There's so many dime a dozen FNAF Minecraft channels out there, but that's not what my channel is about. Uh, even though that's all I had time for and what I became known for, <laughs> it's not what my channel is about. Like, you're gonna find other things on here, like Sunglow, my original series, um, gameplay, mini games, um, uh, other games. Like, I played Phasmophobia recently. Have you watched that video? That was fun. Um, but as big of a part of my life that it became, because I literally had no time for anything else, 
it was never what my channel was supposed to be about. And there was always going to be that underlying story of, like, hope. And as bad as things will get before they get better, they will get better. I think it's a good message for anybody. Um, but that's basically what I want to continue. Like, you guys have that promise from me as a creator. I'm not going to make anything that just bums you out all the time. Like, there's some, there's going to be something good at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Otherwise, what would be the use of a story? A good story has to grip you, you know? And that's what I want to do here. I want to tell cool stories that are fun. And I made, <laughs> I made the FNAF series because I wanted to. And I still want to. Even though it's a popular thing right now, it might just not be what you expect. So, um, yeah, that's about all I wanted to talk about in this video. Just wanted to let y'all know that it's still in the works. Um, it, it'll probably be coming up pretty soon, honestly, once I get everything moving, because it's been in, it's been in the planning stages for a while, and it's time for us to move on and get a new adventure. Although, honestly, you really should check out, um, Sunglow, because it's better than you think. <laughs> it's gonna have a lot more twists and turns, and uh, it'll be the interim. If you're just waiting for FNAF, there's there's other things on my channel too, like, you, you can check those out if you want. I, 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 w I would be pretty happy about it, honestly. Uh, you, do, you could leave me a comment, that's my favorite part about YouTube, is reading and replying to your comments. Uh, that is what I miss the most from the FNAF series, because people would actually comment on my videos. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, anyway, uh, again, there will be a link in the description for the build team application. I hope you check that out if you're interested in building, if you're good at it. Um, there will be a few, like, prerequisites. Make sure you read it and tell the truth, all that stuff, um, and you can be a part of the team. Um, I don't think I'll be taking any, uh, voice actor applications for this series anytime soon. I'm gonna start with what I have first and see what happens from there. But, you know, we never know what's gonna happen. And especially with the first season of Fazbear's Fright, I had to learn how to adjust when things didn't go right. And that ultimately made the story a lot more realistic and breathable because it could breathe because it could grow and change outside of me. Because sometimes having control over something strips the creativity right out of it. Something has to happen outside of your control to make it what it needs to be. So I think we're right where we're supposed to be, and it's going to be a fun ride. So, yeah, I don't have a definite, like, it's gonna happen next week, because that's not happening. Um... Chances are it'll probably be more than a month. Um, probably more than a month at a minimum. Uh, but you've already waited this long. And um, those of you who do watch my other videos and stuff, like, you seem to be enjoying yourselves. And that's all I can really ask for. So that is the end of this video here. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And I hope this answers some of your questions, if not all of them. Um, I'll try to keep you more updated with the progress, and there will be a few teasers in between as we get more things established. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm very glad that I've been able to go on this adventure with you. And let's see what'll happen next. Bye! <laughs>